Hey, this is Dr. Christopher Jones. I'm going to do a little video here on arthroscopic shoulder anatomy. Um, first, I'm going to run through the video quick. This is real time, kind of the initial tour, kind of going in to the back of the shoulder, kind of taking a quick peek. And once we take our quick peek, that's when we come around to the front, back to the front called the rotator interval, and establish a second uh, portal, which will allow us to put instruments into the joint. So now I'm going to run it at about 25% time. So we're looking, uh, that's right in the middle of the screen, that's the middle glenohumeral ligament. We're looking down towards the bottom of the screen. The humeral head is on the top. The glenoid socket is on the bottom. You can still see there's some joint fluid and some air bubbles in the joint. Uh, we can lift the head up. And we do this manually and we're looking at the labrum. That's a normal looking labrum all the way around the, uh, the bottom into the back of the shoulder, the axillary pouch. There's the bare spot, which is normal, right in the center of the glenoid. And now we're moving up to the top. This is the superior labrum. This person has uh, what I would consider a type one slap tear, just some mild fraying of the superior labrum. Um, now we're gonna look up towards the biceps. And we do is we rotate the camera to follow the biceps out to the outside of the joint and that's where the biceps exits. And now I'm looking at the bicipital sling of the superior glenohumeral ligament and finally the rotator cuff. So after the quick tour the next step is to actually establish a second portal or entry site into the joint from the front and uh, use a spinal needle to actually determine the, tr the uh, correct spot for that. It's very, very spot dependent. Uh, even off a couple millimeters can really change your ability to access the joint. So once we find the spot where we want it, we can make a little small, you know, four millimeter, five millimeter incision and then introduce what we call a cannula. So you'll see a little orange blunt tip kind of spear coming into the shoulder. That's the that's the obturator for the cannula. And then we deliver the cannula in. So the cannula is a clear plastic tube with a valve that allows us to put instruments in and out of the joint without traumatizing the soft tissues every single time we do it. Okay, so once the cannula is established, I can introduce what we call a shaver, which you see here. And what I can do is I can suck out the, the normal joint fluid, and then we have what we call an arthroscopic pump that pumps saline or salt water into the joint. You can see the picture is getting a lot clearer. So I kind of suck it out, refill the joint, suck it out, refill the joint, and then that gives us a nice crystal clear, uh, pretty picture of the joint itself. And once this cannula is established, I can use a probe, and a probe is an instrument that I use to touch and feel. This is The tip of this is about four millimeters. So I put this in, I'm feeling the cartilage of the uh, glenoid or the socket down towards the bottom and the front of the joint here, and kind of feeling the transition to the labrum, which is right, right here. And this is where the ligaments attach in the front. Uh, again, I'm running this at uh, about 50% normal speed. Uh, and then once we uh, see the ligaments are fine, uh, you can see uh, now we're going up to the top of the shoulder. Now we're feeling the superior labrum where the biceps anchor is. Uh, this patient might have a touch of a type 1 slap tear or a little frayed labrum, but uh, uh, the anchor itself feels stable. Yeah, so I will definitely clean this up and just kind of just trim out that little t small tear. Next, I hook the probe over the biceps and I test the stability of the biceps. So I basically hook it and then I want to pull it down and I check the sling, which you'll see here. Once I start pulling it down, I can see that the sling on this patient is intact. Actually, it's a very common injury to have a sling disruption and biceps instability. So after evaluating the biceps, the next thing you do is look up at the rotator cuff. So this is the joint cartilage uh, on the humeral head, rotator cuff, 
lifting that up with the probe. And this is a normal rotator cuff attachment site. So that was basically a tour through a fairly normal shoulder. Um, some more videos will follow that show some uh, abnormal findings. Um, but I hope that was uh, helpful. Thank you.